Are you a creator, an artist? Zuri Designs was born from an artist's passion to create using the highest quality tools and materials to make that dream a reality. We welcome you to Zuri Designs. Hello everybody, welcome to the Greenwood Hub Art Studio. Today, I'm gonna to show you a design team project for Zuri Designs. As you can see, it's a colibri bird that is uh, reaching out for a little flower inside of the water can that we have here. Our background is a monstera leaf. Let's get started. Here's my mold. This is colibri flutters. And this is the Zuri mold. I'm gonna be using both pieces of this mold the bird and the flower, and I'm gonna show you a technique where I'm detaching the bird from these flowers. Next, we're moving to the Garden Decor Set 1 mold from In the Garden collection. This is um, one of the latest collections that Zuri has um, introduced to us. And I thought to use the water can because it's such a beautiful component of this mold. Next, I'll be using one cog wheel out of this little bit of everything mold. And the cog wheel I'll be using is gonna be the smallest one you see on the top left. That's the cog I'll be using for this project. I wanna add a little bit of a steampunk touch, not too much, just a little touch. So this is the one that I picked out. Having said this, let's get started. Here's my mix for my resin, adding part A and B of the amazing resin. 10 minutes later, and here's our castings. Here's the technique that I would like to show you. I'm using some scissors because the mold is still soft enough after taking from from the the after taking my my piece from the mold it's still soft enough i can cut it with scissors so amazing resin is flexible somewhat flexible you you just have to do it right away when you demold your piece if you want to do changes so i thought this would be a nice touch um, having these two pieces separated. So I have more of a 3D effect on my frame. That's why I am doing this carefully and um, watching out so I don't cut off his beak. Just um, be careful when you're cutting him off. You know, his beak is quite sensitive and um, it's easily to be cut off, but just go slow and uh, follow the cutting outline of, of the bird. Here's my two pieces. We are now ready to put some gesso on them. But first, let me do a little composition of what my idea is. So you can see the little cogwheel on the bottom there. It's a colibri bird hard at work trying to reach for that flower inside of the water can. There we go. Now this is my gessoing process where I will be gessoing every single piece using heavy gesso from Art Basic Finnebear. Um, this is the black one, right? So I'm just uh, pretty much putting them all over, putting the gesso all over my pieces. And here's the waxes that we will be using. This is the Metallic Wax Paste Trio from Zuri. The first one you see here is called Phoenix Blaze, and it's a nice color. It's a reddish orange, and it goes really nice on the flowers. 
The next one you see here is Bora Bora. And Bora Bora will be used for the leaves of my, of my water can. And then we move on to Venetian gold. And that's going to be my last layer of wax after I finish putting the first Phoenix Blaze in Bora Bora on the designated pieces. And here we go, I'm showing you the process of how I'm doing the Phoenix Blaze, how I'm putting on my pieces. Here's my frame. This is a print of a Monstera leaf, and I thought as a background in the frame, with these Zuri molds combinations, they would look really nice, making it a nice composition on top of this print of Monstera leaf. There's my first flowers being laid down and I'm going to put the cog on the very bottom left of the leaf, just on the contour of the leaf there. And now I'm putting my water can on top and then on the very top of the water can, see that big flower just sticking out on the right hand side? I'm going to put my Calibri Flutter bird on top of it, my little hummingbird. He's so cute. There he is, trying to reach for the big flower there. And he's ready to get his feeding of the day. Next, I will be using heavy gel mats in this composition. Not a glue gun today. So I'll be using my golden heavy gel mat and you'll be able to see in the next. There we go, heavy gel mat. That's what I'll be using. And we are all finished for today. I hope you have enjoyed this um, video on the making of this project. Zuri Designs is a beautiful company. Thank you for watching this and I hope you will follow me and uh, stay tuned for more projects, more inspiration. See you soon.